Hello, it's Sarah. And for today's video, I want to talk about, I'm going to create a little art doll ornament. So I don't know why. I was just, I felt very inspired. I wanted to make an art doll. And I thought, well, it's Christmas. I could make a Christmas art doll. And my art dolls, by that, I mean this. This is the type of thing I'm talking about. This was a class that I took with um <laughs> her name just I can picture her face anywho uh it's an art doll and you can make art dolls in millions of weight well maybe not millions I've seen fabric ones this is wood all put together with different blocks of wood and dowels her wings are just paper um and I've done all types of mixed media decorating to her so she's um collaged with different papers and different um what is this called like dimensional paint which a little piece of it just came off and so that's an art doll that's but then i also have done art dolls as small as this now this is a christmas ornament right and this was a little kit that i got you guys you gotta forgive me i may just be i might be getting brain dead I don't know <laughs> it's terrible uh, you know I, what happens is I f see something I like and I get it and then I forget about that I don't think about it anymore but I'm pretty sure that it came the wood pieces came this way and then you could just decorate it however you wanted and I used winter paper a little piece of winter paper on here you see the snowflakes um, and just used snowflake embellishments to finish it off there's some stickers back here these each of these is actually a snowflake sticker but you can't see it a sequin and some wooden pieces so that's a little ornament so what I was thinking of doing I stopped at Michael's on the way home and really these beads let me show you I've done my little I'll show I'll go grab my Christmas um, art doll so I after taking that class with Mary Jane, it's Mary Jane Chadbourne. She's the one who did the art doll class. I had my husband cut me out, and I've done a share on this before. Cut me some wood. We made a little crown and just a body, and then I wanted to add beads to it because I love beading, and I have all these beads. So these were actually from my stash. Then I've done other... Um, art dolls where I've used beads before and I bought the beads specifically for the art doll um, and so you can do it either way you know I always say use what you have that's my been my motto this year um, but look I did embossing on the back it's just so fun I really really felt like digging out some supplies that I haven't used in a while and actually she's gonna get hung in the front room why shouldn't I it's, tis the season so what I decided to do, I wanted to make an ornament size, right? So I went looking and I have a lot of supplies as well. Um, so I've done, I've painted these up to look like, I don't know what, or like a snowman or a gingerbread man or something. And, you know, I've done, I've worked with wood a lot. Um, so I thought, do I want to paint it or do I want... And I really didn't. I want to decoupage it, so I want to use papers, decorative papers that I haven't used in a while. Um, and so I wanted a flat, because they have those egg shapes. They had different, like, I, I thought of using a candlestick, because they're, you know, the spindles. It's like dimensional, because um, there's just so much you could do. But I decided to get this. This is just a wooden coaster set, and there are four pieces. It's by Art Minds. But what I liked was the depth, well, the width, I guess. So there's four pieces, but the width of the wood. This is a good quarter inch. It's a, it's a, a wide quarter inch. Let's see if, if it says. It doesn't. Um, but that way, I can use a little eye screw and screw that in because I'm going to attach beads. And these were the inspiration for my color theme that I want to work with and I'm going to make an angel I just love angels I think I'm not a religious person um, but I feel like 
that's one thing that I really, I really hope is true. <laughs> I like the idea that there are just beings that are positive and loving. Anyway, so this is silver and gold. I was luckily, it was 70% off on strung beads, all strung beads today. So I got these two and I'm figuring I could probably make, I could probably use one. So here's what I'm going to do first though. But these were the inspiration for my colors because I have silver and gold on here and blank. And they're a small-ish gauge, right? So what I want to do is I think I'm going to make her kind of triangular shaped. So I have my graph paper here because I want to just be able to, and you could probably just do it on any grid you have, um, because I could just go straight across, and but then I bought these circles. These are two by two by point two. Oh, so that's a two inch square or uh, circle. And I think this might be a little big, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think it's cute because then I can make a decent sized face and hair if I want to. I may use felt for the hair. So I think I'm going to take this in steps. This won't be a whole big video right now. I'm just going to do prepping, um, cutting this down to size and prepping it and getting it ready. So I thought I could go and get two out of one. So if I cut this across, um, I'm just going to turn that off. I could get two out of one, but I don't think that's what I want to do. I think I want to use it because they only had squares. I really would have liked something a little longer, but it's an ornament. So I have to keep that in mind. I don't want it to be too big. I think I'm going to go with the width on the bottom. So let me get my pencil. Um, I am lucky enough that my husband has a couple pools in the basement. So I'm going to be able to go in the basement and cut this and sand it and come up and show you then um, what it looks like. So maybe I may have smaller ones of these too. I don't know. I think it's going to be okay. So let me, so this is, I just want to measure. So it's about three, let me put it, butt it right up against that line. Can you see what I'm, I'm just going for? So it's right on this line and it goes to about just under four. So that would be two. So around two is the center, a little short of two. So I want the top, we'll make the top at least a half inch. So maybe there to here. That kind of looks even. Um, so I'm thinking if I go just to have a neck, let's see. Yeah, I like that. You could make it as wide or as narrow as you want. And I mean, I'm going to add wings to this. I'm probably going to, I'm going to go ahead and dig out. I've already started gathering up ribbons. I have wooden wings, but I know I have some metal wings, but they're going to be perfect. Um, yeah, gather up anything. I found a package. Here we go. This package is one of my buttons and I might make my angel holding a package. So I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to, you know, we'll hook those on and then possibly be able to hook it to the package. Um, so lots of ideas right now, but first we just have to get our art doll kind of built. So I'm going to build it first and, oopsie, hope for the best. Listen, it's handmade. It's going to look so cute. Don't worry. Once everything is um, on here. So I'm thinking, I think I like that shape. It's a little shorter than I, than I hoped and maybe the head is a little big, but this isn't in stone yet. I have to decide if I have a smaller one, and I definitely, I had these smaller ones right here, this size. Let's see if that's better. I actually like the bigger one better. I like the bigger one. All right, that settles that, but I'm pretty sure I had some this size. And again, the reason I wanted it this thick 
so that I can put a little screw into the wood. So this actually, did this have a, um, where's the, oh, this I said two by 0 0.2 inches. But it's, it'll be wide enough. I'll be able to, we'll see, it could split it. I mean, and I'm danger girl, so who knows. But I'm going to go ahead and take this down the basement and cut it. So I think I'm just going to use the band saw. Um, and if my husband were home, he would tell me to do something much more, you know, professional. But I wing it. I'm going to wing it. Um, and uh, sand it. Give it a little sanding because he has like a nice sanding belt thing. And so I'll come back up when I'm done. I'll be right back. All right, here she is. I like the shape. Here's the big head. I kind of like the big head. Now you got a picture. Where's my wings? I have a little dot of um, gesso on there right now because I'm going to seal before I do anything but like here's a wing oh I think it's totally good because see I did have a couple of these other size ones and that could be good too it's just that these are thin you getting going all right babe drive carefully it's start it looks like it's coating on the um, road actually it's stopping anyway I could glue two together that's an idea Anywho, I'll get to it. I'll get, because they definitely are thinner. Um, and I kind of like the big head. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, so, but I'm very pleased with this shape. And I think I'll be able to hang the legs and everything. So I'm just going to give a quick coat of gesso to the whole thing, all over it. What's up, Bubba? Oh, he's leaving. Um... So I'll go off camera and get this all coated and sanded. And then I'll do one other thing to prep this. And, all right, sorry, I get. <laughs> so I'm gonna put gesso on all those. I'll be right back. Oh, okay, I'm back and it's the next day. Um, I found a house and I was thinking, why couldn't I do a little Christmas house because I have these little things. Look at this. I don't even think that's enough. I'm going to have to make them go closer together and who knows. But I felt like, I mean, I had it. It was already gessoed. I actually have a big art doll that I bought earlier and it's already prepped. And so we'll see how it goes. But I've got her ready. I have, I decided to glue and these are stuck strong the only worry I have and we'll see if it happens is um if I put a uh I screw through the middle will it pop it apart and I don't think it will but I kind of liked the proportion of this because this way it gives her a longer body I think with this head it makes her look like she has a mini skirt on like the body isn't proportionate to the head as much so um, going with the smaller, hey Kirby, go ahead, go find daddy. Um, I, I just think this is more proportionate for the look that I want. And these little, um, I have a couple different wings. I have these, I looked for metal wings. Um, and at one time I do think I had a pair of the metal ones and I probably do still and I just don't know where they are. Um, and I mean, maybe not, but. I was pretty sure I did, um, but they're, these are just too big. These would just be, I mean, maybe, yeah, I think these are way more proportionate, and I think they'll look gorgeous anyway. I'm going to probably um, emboss those. So I've got a little start. I've gathered up some supplies, and I'm thinking, and there's so many ways you could go with this, because you could just paint it. You could... You know, but I like to add paper because I don't play with paper very often. Collage is a great way for me to um, use some of these paper stacks that I've had. And this one I just pulled from my stash. It's a Craft Smith, which I, I think is a Michael Michael's brand. Um, and I 
totally was wanting to go with a more um, antique look and I think this will do it it's still gonna be colorful but it was because remember I got these beads and I think this will go with it anyway so I think I'm gonna go with this because I had pulled um, this is just a piece of um, K and Company I think it is I'm not positive these are old stacks but this is what I was thinking it's not a, even a Christmas stack but it's just a little more um, antique -y, or what am I trying to think of? Um, you guys know, vintage, vintage. So I think I might do one, and I should have done two at the time, but I, cut, I have another one ready to go. I'll cut that in a minute. Um, because now, of course, I want to do another one, and I think I could do a little rose and make this a vintage angel, which I really, really think, I think I'm gonna do it. I might do this one vintage, because that was my initial idea. I'm gonna cut some papers, and then I'll come back, and I'll um, decoupage them on for you guys, and then we'll go, I'll end this video, and it'll be part two, accessorizing, and probably working on the face will be like a, a separate video. I'll try to take you through the whole process. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. All right, so I'll be back. I'm going to figure out what papers I'm going to use, and then I'll let you know. I'll be back. Well, I'll tell you, um, how to do what I'm going to do. You guys know how to do this. It's not rocket science, but I just literally went down the basement. It took me five minutes to make this because we have the equipment, and we have a, um, a sanding belt, so I just go, it's so easy. So I have two angels. Okay. I do not have any more of these, so I will definitely get get a couple more of these and um, or see if they have a doubly thick thing like this, but I do think that's the right proportion. I'm going to take this little rose paper. I'm just gonna, and you know what, I'm not gonna gesso this one because I feel like the uh, Mod Podge will seal it and will be fine. And it is what it is. It's a little ornament, whatever. And if I were selling them, I can't say that I would just sew it either. I don't know. I can't be sure. Now, I really kind of want to get some of this writing in here. So, hmm. And the rose points. It doesn't have to. Um, I think I'm just going to go. I don't know if you can tell. Mm. Dilemma. It's a dilemma. Because I'm trying to like save the paper. This is the only sheet of this paper. So I think I think I'm just gonna do it from here. So I'm just gonna stick it where I want it and take my pencil and go like that. And this is two-sided paper, so that would be pretty on the back. Yeah, I think I might just cut another piece and do that on the back. So that's how I'm going to get what I want to be on the paper. On the, I'm um, sorry, on the front of her. And like on the little sides, I might do some type of faux finishing like a I don't know. All right, so here's this. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's roses, but it still looks so Christmassy. It's vintage. That was the word. I really love that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for the back. And I think the blue would work just as well, too, because blue is kind of a snowy color when you're doing... See, let's see if they're... Ah, crud. All right, I'll do it this way. No, because then my roses would be upside down. I am being a little particular. And so I'll do the same thing for my holiday paper. It's kind of more of an old time Christmas, see? So it's perfect. That vintage look. And so, so even if this doesn't fit perfectly onto your wood, um, 
we're going to sand the edges. So I'll put that one down. And then I pulled a couple of papers that I really liked from this pad. And I really like, see these are just if I want to decoupage on little accent pieces and stuff. This is kind of cool, although it's it's a little too green. I don't know, it's not as brown as it is green to me. Like this, it's the same tones. See, it's the same. So this and that would be so cute. But I do wanna go a little more Christmassy. So like I thought, this one has a doily and some music notes. So if you wanted to keep it really chill, and you could even use this one where it says Santa Claus, right? Ah, oh, we're not gonna be able to get it in there, you know? And then even have this across the bottom. So lots of different options, but you know, play around, moving things around. This again, I thought I could use as an accent, like maybe cut out some words, or I could use one of these packages. I could glue a package, I might do that. I had the button, I think I showed you that earlier, wherever it is, it's in my bucket. But, I mean, this is super cute. These are like stamps, oh my God, oh my God, I get so excited. Okay, but I thought I wanted to use this one, and I kinda do, and this paper is playing right into that because it is very vintage-y, OMG. I might just have to make a million of these, right? But you could just do more pine cone and a little poinsettia. You could do it this way with the pine cone going up and the poinsettia on the bottom. I kind of like that. This one's big. Um, and there's holly berries. So you just kind of have to decide what you want yours to look like. I'm going to go like this right now and just see what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna take my pencil. Where did I put you here? And cut this out and just have a look at it. Not positive. And there's music notes behind it. I kind of like the holly berries. I kind of like this little section because it has all, it has everything in it. And look, I'm not really concerned about wasting the paper. I think I have tons of this paper anyway, but I think if I go this way, I get a little bit of everything in it. I think this is going to be the way to go. Only thing about it is the music notes are like kind of going sideways. I don't know, I think I'm gonna cut them both out. Where did I put my scissors? And I'm gonna decoupage these babies up. And um, finish the bodies with paper. And then I'll come back with a part two. Oh, I messed up my cutting. See, I like that because it's kind of chill. It's not overwhelmingly Christmas, but the but the music does go kind of off. Um, I didn't even think of that with this one either. This one you don't see it as much. I'm going to cut this one out too because I could do one on each side of it and then decide which one I like better. So... Oops, something just went flying. All right, so let's see what that one looks like. I actually like that one better. I like the more poinsettia with just the little, yeah, and I'll put this on the back. So that's what they're gonna look like. This one is total vintage, right? And don't worry about your pencil lines or whatever because once we get it glued on here, I'm gonna sand the edges really well so that it's all blended. So I'll be back, and because we want to finish up the sides too, there's a good, at least it's over a quarter inch, um, 
I may do embossing just straight gold. OMG, that would be so pretty. Or silver, or silver and gold, because this that's why I chose these beads. Um, because you could do either or. And then I'm gonna figure out my little face. Now, the way I like my angels, if they're just a whimsical little ornament like this, this has gesso all over it, but I'm just gonna do little closed eyes, I think, and like a smile, like a very simple little face like that, and maybe a few eyelashes. And then I'm not sure, but I might be putting hair I love a bun, but you know what we need is um, a halo. So I'll probably get out some wire and be attaching a halo to the top of her head. So we won't do a bun. We could put a bun on the back. I don't know how I would do that with felt or something, right? But so just a little simple face like this. And I may just draw it on there and paint. I think I'm going to paint it. but. That being said, I have um, I have face stamps, you guys, and I know we all have. I actually had. I was thinking of because I have not used them yet. My Diane Reevely, I'm sorry, Diane Dina Wakely. I'm looking. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ugh. But they're ah, uh, they're ladies. They're already um. They have faces and everything. I can't find them right off the top. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, this is, I'm really enjoying this, just FYI. Um, so you want to just put um, Mod Podge, and I like Mod Podge. Um, it's a water-based sealer and glue. A lot of people make their own. I mean, use matte medium, whatever type of wet glue. I'm going to use wet glue because I feel it, really adheres um, it soaks into the paper and it really becomes part of the project and then I put because this is um, really pretty thick paper I'm definitely going to coat the back of the paper as well to get it to just stick really adhere right away and it looks like I need a little right here um, and you have a second to kind of move it around. And I'll use a, um, an old gift card to kind of get the air bubbles out. And it doesn't fit perfect, okay? That's not what we're looking for, but just to cover the entire thing. And I love it so much. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in my water and move this aside. Let's just rip this off because it's sticky. And I have this one and it's dry. I actually used uh, my heat gun to kind of help it along. And I'm just gonna put a piece of, this is a, a very rough grit sandpaper. This is P150. I'm not an expert on sandpaper, but it's, I know 400 is fine. So 150 is a bit rougher. Uh, let's see, well this, see I'm lying right now because this says 150 fine and this says P600. I have no idea. So just by feel, <laughs> that's how I do it. But I wanted the rough one because, and you can also take your cutter bee scissors and if there's a really large piece of paper hanging off here, go use the wood block as your guide, but be careful because you can cut the wood. You can cut the edges off, but what I'm going to do is just use this um, sandpaper. And what you want to do is pull it. I'm going to put down this ugly old towel, guys, because I want it to catch the sawdust. And I'm going to pull toward me. So I want to get the paper edge and just pull toward me. And that is all you gotta do. So not too, especially if it's a rough sandpaper, and you'll leave a little bit of um, raw, raw edge to the paper, but I like that. It's gonna be, it's rustic, and we're gonna, um, what's it called? 
emboss with gold or something. So you're going to do all your sides, so even the neck area, and the paper just peels right off. And then it all becomes a part of the wood. This is so fun. I don't know. I get I'm weird. Look at that. Like you get a little roll of paper. It's so awesome. All right. So you're going to do that to your angels. And you know what? I should just make a bunch of these. I should, but it's better to do it in, um, what is it called? Like in a conveyor belt style. So I would gesso everything. Or actually, I don't even need to gesso these. I'm really thinking you don't because the glue will seal it. So this is the one that I didn't gesso. Um, so I mean, it is OMG. But if, and if your little edges come up, you can just go over it again with it, coat the whole thing with Mod Podge, which is all, I've done that already. But now it is done and it's ready to be embellished, okay? So in the next video, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna um, emboss the edges, I think. I'll think about it because I'm just gonna go through a few options that you can use to um, just get a nice edge on here because you could use ribbon, um, you could use paint, and you can just, you could use um, burlap, like if you really wanted to get pearls, right? Or whatever, but I'm gonna use beads for her arms and legs, so we'll have to do a beading video as well. But for right now, this is looking delightful. So I'm gonna go away and get these all ready for the next steps. All right, thanks for watching.